Like every craft bot before it, the Flow line of 3D printers are built like tanks. They've always been known for being robust machines with exceptional print quality, and the Flow generation is the logical progression of that. While only some models within the Flow family feature independent dual extrusion, every CraftBot Flow has a multitude of setup wizards to guide users of any skill set through calibration and setup. Then once you're up and running, you have a huge build volume to print beautiful models, large or small. Let's break it down. Utilizing two independent print heads, more printing capabilities are unlocked. Multi-material or two-color 3D printing is made much cleaner since the unused nozzle can be parked off to the side until it's needed, preventing any ooze into the part being printed. And not only that, but new print modes are possible by utilizing both print heads at the same time. The print heads glide on the same x-axis crossbar, which means their movements in the y-axis must always be the same, and conversely, the x-axis of each print head can move in sync together in the same direction for parallel printing, or they can move in the exact opposite direction for mirrored 3D printing. All this combined means batch printing of parts identical or mirrored is as simple as clicking a button in the Craftware slicer and sending it off to the printer. From leveling to nozzle offset calibration to filament loading and unloading, the CraftBot Flow generation is designed to be user-friendly with hands-off calibration. There are four main wizards, a three-point level using the bed thumb screws and a BL touch to get the bed mostly flat a nozzle offset calibration using the BL touch and a gentle touch of the nozzle against the conductive bed, an XY calibration for the two nozzles by detecting the edge geometry of the nozzle themselves, and a lengthy and complete mesh bed leveling using the BL touch to create the perfect first layer. With only a little intervention to clean off the nozzle before probing or to adjust the screws, CraftBot's wizards are there to guide you, and they make the Flow 3D printers some of the easiest machines to get up and running. Every CraftBot Flow Generation 3D printer has an impressive build volume, with the IDEX XL taking the trophy for largest build volume of them all. With a build plate that's 450mm wide and 250mm deep, batches can be much larger than other 3D printers. For occasions when you need to print something half a meter tall, the IDEX XL has you covered. While the CraftBot Flow IDEX XL is a force to be reckoned with, there are those that may not need the dual extruder capabilities or the build volume for their specific use case. Fortunately, this is the Flow Generation family that includes options for size and number of extruders. The CraftBot Flow and Flow XL are these single extruder options, with the CraftBot Flow IDEX and IDEX XL serving as the dual extruder options. CraftBots are known for their robustness, and the Flow Generation upholds that sentiment. With these several models of Flow Generation 3D printers available, there's a model out there for everyone. To order your CraftBot Flow Generation 3D printer today, go to matterhackers.com. Hey there, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the tech breakdown on the CraftBot Flow Generation. Personally, my favorite thing about them is how easy they are to set up and then how beautiful the prints look without any sort of troubleshooting. If you want to read any in-depth articles, you can go to matterhackers.com or to stay up to date on all of our digital fabrication content, be sure to click subscribe. See you in the next one.